questions? Yes. Do either of you ever worry about the origins or the ownership of the stories that you have and you write about? Uh, and like if Michael you have a case you often talk about the stories of your brother or your, your father or your family, but stuff that you have in your head but you're not sure where they come from. They might have come from another book, for instance, or something another writer talked about but you might want to use later. Okay, so the question is uh, uh, about uh, you know the material, like, you know the origins of it. Uh, it's and, and uh, am I worried that it's you know almost uh, unintentionally uh, derived from some other source? And am, am I ever worried about that? And I guess uh, in in some ways I am. Like uh, like uh, another difference between Newfoundland life and Toronto life is. Uh, for the most part, when I'm in Newfoundland and I'm there, you know, a few months of the year, um, I'll hear uh, friends of my of my son talk, and uh, and I'm just you know overhearing these conversations in the backyard, and they're fascinating things, the things they talk about, and for the most part, they're always uh, it's all raw material that just comes out of them about living a life, whereas the kids my son has in Toronto often talk about things that are, you know, things that they've seen on TV or uh, it's music quotes or there's something like that. And, and when I hear something, I, I, I'll say to them, I'll say, you know, um, uh, to them, you know, where did that come from? That thing you just said. And they said, what? And I'll say, this thing, it was a really funny thing you said. And they said, oh, well, that, that, that's just from a movie. And I'll realize, oh, that, that wasn't the original thing. And it's, it's disappointing. But I do, uh, on that little note of trying to figure out uh, the origins of things, I notice that a big difference between Newfoundland and urban Toronto. Hmm. I will now say thank you to these two gentlemen.